Hi, this is Beth Essington. We're going to talk a little bit about crochet hooks. There are so many kinds out there. They've been making hooks for hundreds and hundreds of years. Nobody really knows how crocheting began. Um, they think that probably back hundreds of years ago, maybe for lack of, of objects to get or whatever, but they needed things to make clothing with. And so a lot of times it would be torn up blankets or used clothing or a used sweater that they would undo and then redo with their thread. Um, there's all different ones. This particular crochet hook is very nice. It's made for your hand and if you hook for people with arthritis, this is a great one because it's not as tight to hold on to because you have a nice little uh, kind of a padded little rubber handle. It works very, very well. This is just fancy. Nothing special, just plastic with some little glitter in it. Just fun, that's all. A long time ago, and some women still are doing it today, you can make uh, little tiny doilies or little lace things. in. You can't probably even see the end on this, but it's a tiny, tiny hook, and you, used it, you use it for a crochet cotton, which is a very, very thin, not even really a yarn, more like a little tiny string. And this is for very delicate work. It's pretty time consuming, but very rewarding. This particular one here is made out of bone. Um, I don't even remember where I got this, but there's a few floating around. I don't think they're legal anymore, but anyway, you can still find them once in a while. And it has a little bit of a carved kind of pretty look to it and a little top there. This is a very long one. I don't know why. I guess the company just likes to make long crochet hooks. This is a nice big fat one. You would use this for like the, the very thick bulky yarns. Um, I've even crocheted ribbons and strips of fabric with these before and they make up very nice. They're very cute. This is another bone one. They used to make them out of ivory years ago, but of course that's illegal now. But this is very pretty too and it's got a real pretty little design on it. Okay, these are afghan hooks. This is for a different kind of stitch where you end up basically putting on quite a few stitches on. So you need a longer hook than you would with just your regular size. They have a hook at one end. This particular one has a little stop at the other end. So if you get like say 50 or 100 stitches on here, this will stop it from ever slipping off because you don't want to lose your stitches. So they're fun to work with too.